Oops, connecting to cloud server. All right, this is the Asia Pacific meeting for March 10th. And uh, we're ready to go. I think, um, King, you have an agenda item for open, is it open Euler? Is how you say yeah. that? Open Euler? Open Euler, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the operating system open source project. Uh, opened by um, initially by Huawei and uh, now is uh, open you you know open on Giti uh, ah. the platform yeah platform Giti so uh, uh, you know I have found the Clement Lee and me we together found the, the compliance SIG uh, SIG means the special interesting group uh, in the open Euro uh, community we we want to uh, uh, we want to build. Uh, we want to develop some tools for the developer who work in community, and uh, to follow the license, uh, license complaints the work. Yeah. So this is the meet meetup. The first we have uh, hold in 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 Open Europe in China. So uh, this is the first agenda. So uh, okay, uh, I want to share my screen. Right? Yeah, I think okay. I just have to make you make you co-host, which I can I, do. Yeah, no, no, I, I just uh, click the share screen button. Is okay. Can yep. you? Yeah. Can you see it? Yes. It's uh. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is guiding of the. Uh, this is meetup. You can see it. Uh, this is main title. Uh, I mix uh, the three uh, uh, three aspect uh, uh, com complaint. Uh, com Combined together, uh, metrics, uh, infrastructure, and the compliance. I, I have translated into English. You know, you can see it. The sub subtitle is uh, "Who say you cannot? You who say you can't play open source without writing code?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the time is the okay. This is March twentieth and uh, afternoon to beginning at the two o'clock uh, p.m. And uh, ending at uh, the six uh, half past six p.m. And the location is in Shanghai, uh, Zhangjiang uh, district. And uh, uh, the number of the, the people is eighty. It is. And okay. uh, this this is guide you. So the first uh, topic is uh, I want to I want to introduce the chaos metrics metric system. We have uh, fifteen minutes here. Uh, so now we have six videos. Uh, uh the, the guy you have uh, you have recorded last uh, meetup uh, so i want to to discuss with you uh you, which which video we can board broadcast on this meetup in the beginning of the 15 minutes uh, i want to i want to your uh, perspective yeah i I don't recall which videos we recorded last time, other than I think I did an introduction to Augur, but I think Matt, Elizabeth or you, or you or Matt did an introduction to chaos, if I recall. Yeah. And I don't know if there was any other videos. So I say a video come from uh, Russ and uh, a video come from the uh, Daniel and uh, ah. George and uh, you share, <laughs> you, <Yeah. laughs> you record a little. And, and, uh, Another video from the guy who named Roy, Ray Pan. Yeah, we have okay. six uh, videos now, and uh, we have uh, translated. I shall I have translated it in, into Chinese already. Yeah, so we now we have 15, 15 minutes here. Uh, I think we can broadcast uh, almost two or three videos here. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you know this audience, and we trust you to choose videos that are most appropriate. I mean, it would seem to me the introduction to chaos is kind of a good place to start. And then, you know, depending what your audience's interest is in inner source, the, the one from Daniel could be good, or if they're interested in tools in general, or um, really other than the, the one that introduces chaos itself, I don't have any opinion. Uh, because I don't know the audience that well. I don't know if anybody else has any thoughts. Yeah, audience is, uh, I think uh, the, uh, most of the audience, is, they don't have heard of the 
chaos before. Yeah, I think Elis Elizabeth's uh, video is the first of the meeting up. Yeah, and uh, we can add one or two more videos here. Yeah. I think uh, uh, we can demonstrate the org or the grammar app for the tools. Uh, I think the topic itself, the this meet this meetup, uh, always be the uh, tools or other some infrastructures. Mm -hmm. So I think the uh, it's suitable for uh, demonstrate the uh, grammar app or org. I think uh, that that's my opinion. Sure. Yeah, so the video from Augur is yours. Welcome on board. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and if there's a compliance piece of it, I can also uh, provide a short introduction to the licensing uh, statistics that are available in Augur. We do use the Phasology license scanners to yeah. scan for licenses. Um, this is, when is this? What is it's March, March 20th. March 20th. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, you can take it or leave it. I'll send you a video about licensing compliance in Augur and how it works. Um, as well, like a one minute. Okay. Kind of a thing. So, so Just because let's, the topic uh, is compliance. <laughs> yeah. So the, there's uh, some other other topic. Uh, about the da big data analyze for metrics into site. This is uh, from Open Euro, who uh, built a dashboard. Oh. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, he is she, sorry, she is uh, learned from the chaos metrics system and uh, built the Open Euro's dashboard to operate, operate dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. Shaya is know this, this guy. <laughs> they live together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the infrastructure, and uh, here's the Open URL's experience design. And uh, the last two is a license complaints topic. Yeah, there are some tools. Tools we develop some toolings here, and uh, we want to, to share in the meetup. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Open Euler project, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm keen to hear what you learn about it. Yeah, Open Euler is a, it, it looks like the, it's, it's a service, uh, server's uh, operating system. Uh, yeah, it looks like, you can see the Fedora and the Ubuntu. Yeah, it looks like the, the yeah, yeah. It's a Linux distribution, uh, like the, uh, Ubuntu or OpenCC okay. or other distributions for Linux. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So this is the sky deal. And uh, uh, this is the, you can see it. Uh, uh, this is the, we promote, promote the, 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 the open URLs. Mike Meetup. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like the name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's named by me. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Mike, yeah. <laughs> you want to speak, you must uh, hold the mic. <laughs> okay. So, in the Meetup. So, uh, this is a Chaos uh, logo. Uh, we want to put a Chaos logo here. This is a holder. Uh, okay. Is that okay? Can you oh, see it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to promote the chaos in this meetup. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. That's awesome. Okay, great. So is there any suggestion about this uh, agenda, this topic? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think if you're, if um, you're talking about compliance, there is a lot of established material in, um, an open compliance, licensing and compliance meeting that has happened historically in Japan in December. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Linux Foundation meeting. Uh, I can, I've talked at it a few times. I can try to dig up their latest. Uh, uh, I have attended once uh, in okay. Japan. 
Yeah, Yokohama, you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was there. We just didn't know we knew we were both there. Oh. I, I guess it was, it was an, I was at the last two of them before the <laughs> pandemic. Okay. Okay. Uh, attended in 2017. I don't think I was at that one. Uh, no, I wasn't there. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, okay, so how, uh, yeah, any question about this, about this meetup? No, I'll just throw the open compliance uh, link in there too. Mm -hmm. Not, not to, just because um, somewhere there's probably recordings of things they've done and talked about at those meetings that might be of interest for those that, that are interested in the compliance part of the discussion. Um, I think I think that community has a they're quite ahead on thinking about licensing um, mm -hmm. with regards to you know other parts of the world. I think. <clears throat> That's great. Yeah. Okay. I. And uh, I stopped to share my screen. All right. Okay. Um, I threw an agenda item in it just to ask if there was or any thoughts or feedback on the hackathon. We had a really good discussion with Willem that was about design uh, and you know managing contributors. And uh, I think that he, we're going to follow up with that discussion at, at some point when Willem has some time. Um, and then there were a couple of people, I think Joya was one, and then uh, uh, Drove, who uh, we worked with on um, just getting machines configured uh, and sorted out. I don't know if anybody else has any um, any thoughts. Uh, if, if, should we do it again? Should we do it again with a, uh, a new topical focus? Um, I know some, I think, I think there were some folks who were gonna take part of what we started to do and uh, work on a get e worker. But um, I also think that Willem wanted to participate in a discussion about design uh, for how, how we manage contributors as well. He had some good ideas there that I shared with the participants. Uh, I, rem I remember I saw somewhere that I'm not sure if this is right. I think there may be another hex on um, March 13th. I, I think I saw the message somewhere. I, okay. Yes. Um, it, yes. <laughs> there is. I think the timing might be difficult though, because this one is more of like North American time zone. So then the next one will be more Asia Pacific time zone, oh, if that makes sense. Okay. But I mean, you're obviously welcome to come. <laughs> it just might March, be in the middle of the night. March 13th, know. yeah. But um, like we, we could schedule one, like um, if there's some interest, like we could put one on the calendar for, like um, March uh, 27th or something like that. Um, I'm not sure uh, building the worker for uh, Giddy can be a, a, a topic um, maybe for um, the internship uh, like uh, China is going to um, yes. hold just like Google Summer of uh, Google yeah, Google Summer of Code. Um, because um, Chinese, Chinese students are more familiar with uh, GT platform. And if this is as the form of an internship that will be, I think there will be, there will be more um, activeness. And yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think, I think um, 
one of the things that Willem mentioned is maybe continuing uh, to do some design work around um, the contributor part of, of that. He had some specific ideas about, um, really brought to, brought, brought to light the thought that, that organizations have a list of the people who work for them and that that can be used to reconcile um, disparate identifiers that people have across different platforms. And um, so some, in, in some ways, maintaining the separation of identities uh, gathered from each platform and then doing the integration based on kind of a list that an organization makes uh, uh, owns of people who work for them and what their different emails and login codes are and then reconciling so doing a slightly more organizationally centered um, reconciliation of, of, of uh, all the different identities that people have on Get E or other platforms. Um, that the, I think Willem's idea is that that design would be part of this internship. If I'm if I'm remembering our uh, conversation correctly from the first hackathon. Yeah, I also remember that. Um... Because um, it's difficult in the open context to like uh, like um, we um, some research from our laboratory are trying to dig out um, a developer on GitHub um, his um, location ge geography is that geography yeah um, yep. location yeah but because GitHub doesn't provide such kind of information and we we uh we have tried to uh, um like uh cr cr crawl mm -hmm. um the information on linkedin like platform uh, like that but we can't match the accounts information yeah. so that's a that's a problem don, don you you i know in the common group for a while, there was a discussion about this geographic identification. And I don't recall where that conversation landed or ended. Did we build a metric around that? Or did we make any decisions there that you recall? I don't remember. We might have built a metric around it. It's it's really hard. So it's, um, it's one of those problems that I think we might have built a metric around it, but we kind of said that unless you have more information about these developers, like if they're developers at your company or something like that, you just, you really can't get uh, the geographic location. You know, one, one way- uh, Elizabeth uh, shared the metric we built in the chat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. But yeah, I think yes. Don, what you said was right. Like. It, you, the the output is only as good as the input is and so if you you know some of that is really hard to to find if it's not provided one way we've used to uh, is try to um uh summarize um a developer's um a developer's of uh, the, the the time a specific developer who are active on github um and uh, we assume uh um Sorry. A continuous 12 hours uh, that a GitHub, uh, a developer that um, have, have uh, active on GitHub uh, is from the 9 o'clock to 9, 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. in his time zone. And this is um, this is not um, accurate if to define a um, a personal actor, but can maybe can be put in a project's context that this project most of the developers in this project is from uh, which time zone because uh, the project is more active in that um, UTC time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a reasonable way to, to estimate it because like we said, you you can't really, you can't get good data on this. So the best thing you can do is, is make, some, make some guesses based on the best information yeah. you have. Um, 
you know, the limitation that I would be, I would be careful to state when you do this is that some people, some people genuinely work very strange hours. I know there's one person yes. on our team that just, um, yeah, the hours that he works are, are just uh, bizarre. Um, but there, but you can figure that that's, that's probably an outlier. Like most of us work during the day, you know, during the times of the day that most do. people are typically yeah. awake. Yeah. I, I think it's, I think it's a reasonable way to estimate it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's uh, prob probabilistically you're likely to be right far more mm -hmm. often than wrong. especially if you're aggregating it and looking at it from the whole project. Yes, it's not suitable to determine a specific developer's mm -hmm. location. Other topics that anyone wants to bring up or discuss here what's what else is on your minds uh, actually i have a question this is the Hui from china uh, i'm friend from i'm friend of king Gao, and this is Welcome, my Yui. first time to join this meeting i'm very glad to glad to join this community actually this is my first time to go through the whole uh, chaos community this daytime. Oh, I have to go through the whole, whole site, the different uh, uh, GitHub projects. And I, I'm just listening all your talks about how to collect the developers, their time. Uh, so, uh, maybe I didn't catch up to your topics. Uh, did you discuss about the time for the chaos developer time or just for different projects development time? Um, I think the uh, time is for uh, um, maybe more accurate is uh, the time zone for uh, for different projects and uh, according to the time zone we dig out uh, we can um, we can defer um, maybe this is um, um, the the location of that project that most uh, developers are um, based based at. So actually, uh, for my my experience in in some open source communities, I actually we will feel such information uh, during our commit message to say, okay, I have uh, I have spent uh, a bunch of time on, on this uh, on this review or on this push. So I don't know. Uh, could we and promote such way to, to, to the developers to let them fill this information. Uh, I think we use the time zone information for uh, to, to try to find out the, the people from the, uh, the location of the uh, contributors or the de developers, uh, because the, uh, some of the developers uh, didn't like to share their locations on the in the community. So we try to find some way to dig it out. Uh, that time zone is a uh, uh, very useful uh, information. Uh, I think that's um, maybe we can dig out other ways to find out the location information. So were there other ways, but I mean, I think for the most part, we don't have access to information about developer location unless they disclose it on, on the platform or we know because they work for us. So uh, I think someone, uh, someone find the location as a private message from individuals. Uh, especially in Europe, you know, the, some laws are uh, defined the location of the individual information. So uh, I try to, uh, I involved at the uh, Orbit 
uh, community. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? The orbit, orbit is a kind of model of the, how to describe the uh, community members. Uh, we try to get some information from the uh, meetups or other meetings. Uh, the people, they, they share their location information because we uh, want to uh, make some uh, board to show, show up the how uh, they come to the uh, meetup by train or by plane or by other uh, travel, uh, others, uh, other ways to travel to the meetup. So we can uh, describe the portrait of the developer or the contributors. Uh, we use the portrait to uh, to get a better uh, serve, serve the uh, developers to make them more happy to uh, involve in the uh, community, uh, try to obtain them and try to uh, attract some uh, new developers to this community. Uh, so we must dig out more information from the developers to shape the model uh, to fit them. Okay, I share the orbit uh, website link in the dialog window. Yeah. Uh, I think orbit uh, project is uh, want to build a developer profile for the communities who operate the community. Uh, want to find out more core contributors and uh, want to uh, diversity and uh, uh, Diversity is a uh, diversity is a individual and the organization uh, to participate in the project. Yeah. Um, so I just share this document for anyone who can't open it. Um, so this is a metric that's being developed. Um, uh, no, so, this is. <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> Sorry. Was, yeah, was, it not in, yeah. was it not intentional to change, to, to share this document? Uh, yeah, I just put that link, but um, that, that, that is uh, not, not related to uh, what King is talking about. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll stop sharing that then. Oh, I, I like you. Uh, you're... Uh, what you just share is is Chinese. So Shen, do you learn learn Chinese now? <laughs> <laughs> I think it will take me a much more significant investment of time. Okay. And this is actually the report I've uh, mentioned. Uh, I think uh, in um, the past. Uh, AP meeting that uh, this is a report our laboratory have uh, worked out and uh, it's in Chinese initially and we are translating it into English and um, there are also some metrics and uh, the working hour I uh, just um, the, the, the all report is based on GitHub blog data and we have to do some insights and uh, um, like uh, the activeness of uh, developers and projects. And um, yes, um, and uh, the, the translation, the initial, the initial translation is a completely Google translated result. So we are reviewing it now, try to make it seems more sensible and uh, we may publish the, publish the English, the English um, in maybe, I'm not sure if this can be published in March, but it's, uh, it's on its way. And um, I just want to say uh, there are some, uh, there are some um, evaluation and uh, analyze that maybe uh, we can look at and um, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, I 
And shall, the shall, this is uh, X Labs report about uh, twenty twenty open source. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Great. so this is this is very it's very interesting. Do you want it shared in the notes? It looks quite extensive. Or do you want to hold it back until you are finished with it? Yeah, uh, we don't we don't need to share uh, share this uh, uh, this draft to the community. I just put it here uh, that um, maybe you can have a preview at it. Um, the the time zone to I mean, the time zone to infer a developer's location, as I've mentioned before, is in chapter uh, second, uh, chapter second point five, time zone distribution of global developers. Uh, okay. Was... Oh, there, there is actually many charts wow. and figure, but I just delete them to make it more, um, to make it more, um, Convenient okay. for review. review oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, time zone. Okay. Let me find the original report, but it's, it's completely in Chinese, but there are some interesting um, di diagrams and tables and figures. Yes, I put the original report in the in the minutes. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, and that's something folks can look over. I see some geographic locations. The orbit love orbit model is uh, just been thrown in there. Oops. I like this. This reminds me of the love heat light visualization that Ramita Cosmaker did at Twitter. Um, increased love, reach, gravity. Interesting. I haven't seen this before. The orbit model is uh, compare the solar system as the community. So, so uh, we, the contributors, uh, like the stars, and the community is the sun. So uh, that's very interesting. I like that it's not linear. It's it's more. Um, what's the word I want? I don't know. But um, I've seen the. I've seen this represented in a different way as more of a life cycle, like a straight line, kind of how you're bringing people along. But this is a kind of a different visualization. And I really, it speaks to me as a community manager, it speaks to me very, very much. So thank you for sharing yeah. that. I had not seen that. It's really interesting. So, so, so you know, the people is, uh, have deep, a lot of a factor to affect uh, who contribute in the community. So I think this, this model is, uh, uh, is uh, emerging from the space, you know, the, the planet who have a relationship great, great, sorry, great, 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 sorry, how to say it, I, I, I don't know. They, they have the, the, the force between the two planets, you know? <laughs> so they look uh, they like the two developers in the community. Uh, I can, I can, one, one, uh, one is uh, uh, how, um, sorry, uh, sorry, <laughs> okay. 
climate can you can you uh, explain it <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> so uh, we suggest that uh, uh, that way uh, we have two different uh, contributors in the community like someone has more power the more power like the Jup jupiter in the solar system uh, they can attract more people around the uh, this one uh, so uh, they get the reach the reach is means about power of the community uh, the power so of the man in the community ma so mass mass attracts more mass kind of like gravity pulls you in the bigger the object yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> from what i remember from high school physics <laughs> yeah so uh if you were just one um uh, it's less power or just an individual in the uh, community but you uh you always have a way to become more bigger uh, so you can uh, put more love in the community put more love means uh, you can uh, uh, participate in uh, different projects and uh, uh, contribute more uh, enough time to the community so you can uh, get more uh, get more power or get more get the um, uh, get the ways more uh, near the heart of the heart of the community so the community uh, may give you some uh, chances to uh, to work in the community so that's the way to be the more professional in the community so you can see the four levels uh, in the right hand side uh, the the fourth one is around the uh, the fourth one is the outer space is the observers they can uh, they always uh, look up some informations in the communities, but they just don't uh, try to commit, uh, contribute. Uh, when you try to when you try to contribute the community, and then you uh, promotion promotions <laughs> to be the uh, participants. Uh, uh, as time flies, the you, the work you accumulate more work to the like, uh, to the community. You can promotion promote to be the contributors. So uh, I think it's the way to be more pro professional in the uh, community. Uh, uh, so they make the orbit mode to, uh, to help the manager to learn to how to operate this uh, community and uh, uh, the other way to uh, something for the newcomers to the community they can uh, how they can become the professional in the community. So I think that is the uh, purpose of this model. Yeah, I certainly like the metaphor. Um, like it, it, it's an interest. I mean, do we? Does this group? Do you want to talk about specific? Or I guess is this something maybe we sh sh might all review? um before next time obviously i think it's a lot to take in but it looks like it certainly is aligned with the goal of a metrics community like chaos to think about how we present and frame metrics yeah i think it's just a good topic to we can discuss next time yeah okay. because uh, this uh, this model we need to also need the into the data, uh, which we can collect and we can matrix it. Yeah. Yeah, the orbit community, uh, the members of the mod, uh, orbit community, they uh, also uh, get some uh, get some data from the meetups, uh, uh, offline or the online. Uh, they have some tools like the uh, tables and to offer to the attendees to uh, fill in and uh, get some data from it uh, so they can track the people uh, uh, and track them uh, how to act uh, how they act in the community uh, and uh, give some statics uh, information uh, to the community manager to decide how to put the resources to the uh, contributors all right i think i think this is great i won't be able to digest it in the course of the meeting but i'll look at i'll definitely be looking at this 
over the course of the two weeks before our next meeting and maybe uh, seeking to understand how it might how we might be able to leverage this to communicate about some of the metrics that we've developed because I think it certainly does have a have a useful metaphor to it um, and it's not always the base statistics or ordinary graphics that really communicate most effectively um, which I think is maybe one of the points of the orbit model it looks like they have an API as well on their homepage. Um, it looks like they're doing some reporting and some measuring. So yeah, something to look at. Yeah, but the uh, community is uh, in their early access. So uh, you must to re register the, the API. Um, so they, you, when you register that you can use it. It's not open for everyone. Okay, well, we've got three minutes left. Does anyone uh, want to talk during that uh, three minutes or are we topically out of engine? I don't, any, any last topics, I guess. Oh, uh, excuse me, Shane. So I, I just heard you wanted to hold the next hexo in March um, 27? I think, uh, um, Stop and share and look at my calendar. Um, I was so you, you know the every month uh, last week week last uh, Saturday every, every month uh, we we have, we have, that's that's our working day. <laughs> so other other weekend we have two two days uh, of the of the company. So ah okay so <laughs> yeah. so that's a bad day like maybe yeah. maybe like the the 3rd of April would be a better day is I think what I hear you saying. Uh, April okay oh sorry uh sorry April is okay. Oh no 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 no. Sorry April is our Chimingjie so how, how to say it our whole nation vacation. So oh. you know, it's also yeah. it's also the Easter holiday. Oh, um, in those countries. <laughs> I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, well, maybe we'll move all the way to like the tenth, um, or something like that. Oh, it's a Tombu Sweeping Festival in China. Okay. <laughs> it's it, our whole nation are in vacation that day. Uh, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, we can, uh, is that, I don't know, we, we don't have to find a time right now. Um, maybe King, you could suggest a day that works for you. For, that would be good um, on the next call and we can set it up. Um, <clears throat> does that sound good? Did we lose King? He may have frozen. I think King froze. Um, uh, we're out of time anyway. Um, so I think, uh, thank you all and we'll see you in two weeks. Sounds good. All right.
Bye, everyone.